Hi guys, this is uh, Carolina Varsity. We're in our 2015 season. We're at regional finals week. We've got uh, the Western Region 4A finals, number three Catholic going up to play number one Dudley. I'm Dale Ross. And I'm Matt Marr, the pet man. Taking a look at this game here, we're going to give you some players to watch if you're going up to Dudley and uh, checking this game out. For Charlotte Catholic, number two, Jared Anderson, running back. He's got 1,765 rushing yards on the year, 24 touchdowns, and, you know, he's the one that makes the Catholic offense go. Um, you know, I wouldn't say he's got elite speed, but he's got good speed. He can run away from you. Mm -hmm. Very good inside the tackles. Um, he runs hard, rarely fumbles. Um, he can also catch the ball at the backfield. Um, you Dudley fans, um, look for number two to really be a, a big part of what Catholic does. He's good between those tackles because he's got good vision. He can find the hole. Uh, he'd be a great back behind a, a zone, uh, oh, yeah. a zone uh, blocking a line. Just a very, very good vision. Now he's not got elite speed, but he's got high school. He's got very, very good speed. <laughs> yeah, good, just a good all around uh, back out, and out of a series of great backs to come from Charlotte. Oh Catholic. yeah, yeah. Uh, number six, Connor Miller's linebacker for Charlotte Catholic. One of the, the very good trio of linebackers over there. Mm -hmm. He's got 86 tackles on the year, 11 tackles for loss, nine sacks. And, um, you know, believe he plays some defensive end, too. They, they move him down sometimes. They want to generate a pass rush against a tackle that um, they feel like he can beat. Um, you know, when he's at linebacker, he really does well dropping in those zones underneath coverage and reacting to the passing game. And in the run game, he'll come up and hit you real good and wrap up well. So... Um, that's why the Catholic defense has been really good all season long. Yeah, I think what you people are going to see is this is one of the best groups of linebackers that uh, you will have seen. But I'm sure there's another, at least one more linebacker. Oh, there. yeah. And we're going to take a look at him right now. That's number 12, Alexander Gagnon. And I believe he's a Shrine Bowl player. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 116 tackles. <laughs> that's it's a good reason why to make the Shrine Bowl, but he's got really good size. He's got good quickness. Um, I believe he plays the middle of that defense. Um, he can come on the blitz and uh, really disrupt your pass um, blocking schemes. It kind of opens it up for some other people to do things. Um, very good in his zone drops as well. Um, he's a very impressive player, especially when he tackles. He, I mean, he, you feel it when he hits you. Yeah, he's a big guy. Actually, um, mm -hmm. he's got nice size. He is, I think, his movement uh, is uh, well, it's D1 quality, obviously. Very, very good ball player, very good linebacker. This, that's this is one of the better defenses uh, around, if not the best defense, but it's certainly one of the better defenses. And the reason being, these linebackers, oh, yeah. And uh, number 81, Jonathan Newman, uh, his numbers aren't. It's staggering, 32 catches, six touchdowns on the season. But when Catholic is going to throw the ball, and they are going to throw the ball they because they are throwing it more this year than they have thrown it in a while. Uh, look for this kid for, for to be someone that they're going to go to. He'll play. He'll kind of be at a tight end position sometimes. Sometimes they'll split them out. Uh, he's actually listed as a, a wide receiver, so um, he's deceptively quick. Is the way I would describe his speed, but he. And the ball's coming to him, he, he's going to catch it 95% of the time. Yeah, he's got good hands, and uh, I think he's a junior. He is a junior. He, right? Yeah, yeah, very, very good ball player. Uh, he would, uh, in some other offenses where they throw the ball, he would be uh, one of the featured guys that you that they throw to. They will throw to him. Right. And like you say, they're throwing more now, but even – uh, in the uh, Odo days, uh, they still, he would be a guy that they would throw to every once in a while. He'd be that tight end that's coming right. out of the seam on you right. when they hit you with that uh, play action, which they're going to hit you with. Let's take a look at Dudley and their guys to watch. Uh, number one quarterback, Hendon Hooker. He's got 2,103 yards passing, 1,106 yards rushing, 17 touchdowns to four interceptions on the year. Uh, obviously, looking at those numbers, he's a dual threat quarterback. Uh, took a look at some video of him. Uh, he throws a good ball. Um, you know, he he his his offensive line does a good job of giving him time to read the field, and he doesn't rush anything. He'll take his time, look for his secondary receivers coming out, and um, he hits them accurately. 
Um, his rushing numbers, um, they'll run some zone stuff um, from the uh, shotgun, right. obviously. And, um, you know, he, he's a heck of a dual threat quarterback for that Dudley offense. Yeah, from what I saw out of highlights, he's the kind of, uh, he's one of the a, a, a quarterback that can have success against uh, Catholic, not just in the throwing game, but in the pat in the running game as well. Right. Because uh, that, you know, that, that is one of the areas if you're going to hurt Catholic, you need a quarterback that can, can do that. It, that's a, a key element in beating that uh, Catholic defense is being able to attack that secondary, being able to have feet underneath you and move the ball. That was, uh, you know, I think the only quarterback that may be similar uh, would have been a Fetty, mm-hmm. uh, and a Fetty had some uh, decent success. And we're mentioning game. Kingsley Fetty from Advanced Advance 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 High School here in Charlotte. So, now this guy, uh, number five, Connell Young, running back. Whew, boy, boy, boy. <laughs> Two thousand three hundred twenty-four rushing yards, seven hundred thirty-four receiving yards, thirty-four total touchdowns on the season. He's the leading rusher and the leading receiver in terms of yardage for the Dudley Panthers. And uh, this kid, man, seeing him on film, this guy runs downhill. He runs with an attitude like, get out of my way. I'm going to the end zone, and there's nothing that you can do to stop me. (laughs) He's very impressive in in the run game. And, um... The receiving yards, there's a couple things they like to do with him receiving. There was a middle screen that uh, Dudley ran. I saw on film. Uh-huh. They threw to him, and getting lineman out in front of this guy is just it's just not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> no, he's, <laughs> he's a senior. He's a very impressive football player. I'm not, I'm not sure where he's going to college if he's committed somewhere or not. But um, a very good looking ball yeah, player. Yeah, whoever gets him is is going to be. Um, in for a treat, most definitely. Yeah, when I saw those stats of over 3,000 yards, you know, mm-hmm. uh, of total offense, that's just wow. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. That's great, yeah. We're going to take a look at number 12 here, Nigel Peel. Um, 143 total tackles on the season, seven sacks, two interceptions. Um, we hear a lot about the Dudley defense. We hear that it's probably the best defense in the state. And obviously, Nigel Peel is a big reason why. Um, he's doing a little bit of everything for these guys, and um, that, those are some impressive numbers there. Yeah, uh, 147 tackles, you said? 143. 143. Yeah, uh, seven sacks on top of that, as if that wasn't enough. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's phenomenal. And here's another reason why that Dudley defense is so great. Number 45, Zachary Presley. Listen to this. He's got 82 total tackles on the year. 20 and a half sacks and 15 quarterback hurries. So, <laughs> Catholic, the good thing is, Catholic doesn't throw the ball that much. <laughs> so, is he um, is he playing the end or is he coming he is, from linebacker? I believe he's a defensive end. Yeah. I believe. Because look, looking at their defense, they're a four man front. So, mm-hmm. they have 20 and a half sacks. I well, and, and 14 hurries on top of it, which is almost uh, a sack. Yeah. That's, uh, that's a lot of times to be right in the quarterback's face. Exactly. So, but. That can be important that Catholic doesn't throw the ball much, but when they do, you know, yeah, that, you that can got still to be very really important. Yeah. I, I can imagine a, a tackle and a tight end, you know, kind of staying mm-hmm. in on him and just making sure he doesn't get that immediate pressure. Right. Um, let's take a look at it on the field here. Keys for both teams. Catholic defense, they're going to have to play their best game of the season here. Um, the offense has got a, a heck of a tough task on their hands. Uh, the most points Dudley has given up all season is 14 points. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> the Catholic defense just can't allow big plays to happen in, in space to Dudley. They're going to have to make Dudley drive the field. This is going to be one of those, and, and they played a couple years ago in Otto's last game, and it was a defensive low-scoring kind of game. I, and I expect the same thing here. Um you know, Catholic's defense is really good. I, I wouldn't expect them to give up a ton of points here. But um, I think Dudley's offense can kind of give them a problem because they'll run some condensed formation and then they can spread it out. So I'd expect Dudley to be more of an in their spread kind of looks to try to, you know, spread Catholic out and run big uh, Connell Young mm-hmm. up the middle and get that uh, dual threat hooker involved as well. Um 
for Dudley, their special teams are the key. Uh, Catholic special teams, they blocked a punt last week against North Davidson. That made a difference. Um, in a game that's supposed to be low scoring and defensive, they could not allow Catholic to get any points or good field position off of special teams plays. Right. And, you know, one of the advantages for Catholic is going to be their special teams play, at least on the kicking side of the game, both punting mm-hmm. and kicking. Um, uh, they're very strong in that area. Uh, I, I still think from a, an offensive point of view that uh, we, I think we mentioned this last week about tests that, you know, uh, Catholic, uh, Catholic faced a very, very strong offense in, uh, yeah, they did. in Vance they did. And, uh, and came out of that game. So I, I too expect a, um, a very low scoring uh, ball game. I'm expecting a game that will not get out of the twenties and just, um, just to wonder the, um, the report says Dudley over Catholic 26 to 13. I don't know if it's going to be that many points. <sighs> Man, you know, I, I was thinking, I, you know, I could see a score like 21 to 14 or 17 to 14 or something like that. Yeah. Just but, but before I looked at that number, uh, just I believe we've got two great offense, I mean, excuse me, defenses going against each other here. Mm-hmm. that will make it difficult for those offenses to do things. Um, the nature of um, a Catholic's offense is not uh, to put, you know, to be high scoring. They've had some high scoring results, but uh, I, I, honestly, I think their defense can should be able to hold them down. I, if it gets up to the high 20s, I would be a little surprised. Yeah, I would be too. Yeah. Um, not surprised at Dudley being, you know, the favorite here. but Right, right. Uh, it's going to be a, a nice environment at Dudley like it always is. They got a great tradition. Um, I know Catholic will be mm-hmm. fired up to try to get some uh, revenge for um, Coach Otto in his last game, losing that game a couple years ago. Right. They'll be fired up. So if you're making the trip up there, uh, I know Catholic will travel well. Uh, be safe. Enjoy the game. And uh, tell your buddies and Everyone that you saw this video, you're going to know what you're talking about. Exactly. If they didn't see it, they won't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know if you saw it and tell us what you think. Uh, thanks, and I hope you guys have a great ball game.